welcome back to my channel it's your girl miss d on today's video i just want to talk real quick about um breaks versus breakup so the other day i and a couple of friends were chilling or i think we were watching a movie and um essentially the girl cheated on her boyfriend while they were on a break and um my friend now asked the question you know if you cheat on a break or if you get with someone else on a break is that considered cheating like in a relationship and i was like you know that's a good topic to discuss I feel like taking a break will cross your mind at some point in a relationship. So until this day, I never really thought about, you know, the idea of taking a break in a relationship. I never really sat down to process it because for me, I always felt like, you know, if you're in a relationship, you're in the relationship. If you break up, you break up. There's nothing like taking a break in between a relationship and then coming back. That just didn't, oh, that just didn't seem right to me because at the end of the day, I feel like if you want to take a break because you guys are trying to sort out issues, you can do that while you're still in the relationship i don't know if you guys are on different pages if you guys are arguing a lot you guys cannot coexist together there's a lot of arguments there's a lot of tension between both of you and this has been going on for like a lot a prolonged period of time that is what i would suggest to break so you know you guys can have space from each other and just discuss and see essentially where you want the relationship to go however i feel like you could also just say to your partner that you needed space and I feel like in a relationship, you're entitled to ask for space. So you can just say, you know, I need space for a couple of days. And obviously, you cannot just say, I need space, and that's the end of it. You need to specify how long, essentially, you need, you need your space for. Personally, I feel like just asking for some space is the best thing to do. Because if you're in a relationship, you're meant to be able to work on your issues within the relationship, if that makes sense. You don't need to break up to work on your issues just to come back together. I don't feel like that's the way it should be. So I feel like if you're in a relationship, you can work on those issues together and all you need to do is ask for space. However, some people decide that they want to take breaks, which is perfectly fine, I guess. Like, I mean, they say that distance makes the heart grow fonder. So I guess in that sense, a break might be, you know, might be good for a relationship. One thing I would definitely say that if you're deciding to take a break in a relationship, both of you need to be on the same page, both of you need to understand exactly why you're taking a break, exactly how long you're taking the break for, you know, essentially, you guys need to understand the terms and conditions of taking a break. If one person feels like, you know, it's fine for me to hook up with another person, you know, while we're on our break and another person doesn't feel that way, then that is going to lead to a problem. You might as well just understand what you both expect from one another before you go on your break. And I would definitely say that if you decide to go on a break, you need to make sure that you guys have spoken on how long the break is going to last for. You cannot say that you're going on a break indefinitely. You might as well just break up now at that point. And I feel like if you're going on a break, you should date other people. Uh, maybe date is not the right word, but I feel like it's okay to entertain and go on dates with other people so you understand yourself more. Because the point of a break is trying to figure out your relationship. Like if you're really stuck on someone or you're really into someone, when you begin to interact with other people, you begin to miss that person. And obviously, if that's the case, when you're going on these various dates, you know that you're more likely, or you know that you're more likely to want to get back up with your partners like if you want to break to explore like other people just so you know what you have so you can figure out what you have if that makes sense personally i feel like if you're going on a break there is no need to be sleeping with other people because at the end of the day the point of a break is to try and figure out if you still want to be in a relationship essentially so while you're trying to figure out if you're still trying to be in a relationship why would you be on a break with another person ultimately i just feel like you need to be conscious of when people say they want to take a break with you when you're in a relationship because people might just take breaks you know just to hook up with other people and say you know you know we're on a break so i'm not really at fault if you're going to go on a break in a relationship it's important to understand the other person's um intentions because if you're just going on breaks just so you can sleep with other people then that is the wrong way to approach a break i feel like when you're on a break you should not even be sleeping with other people because you're essentially trying to figure out if you still want to be in the relationship you're currently in does that mean that if you're on a break, you're still in a relationship? I don't know. That is true. So essentially, is cheating on your boyfriend or girlfriend when you're on a break wrong? Ultimately, depends on the rules you guys set. I feel like if you're trying to work on your relationship, there's no need to be adding another body count to the mix or you know mingling and dangling with another person. It doesn't make sense. So just focus. And I feel like if you're taking a break, actually 
you know, use that time to focus on yourself, use that time to understand yourself, to understand your wants, to understand your needs. It is fine, I believe, to, enter, to entertain other people like just talking, but not taking it to the bedroom, if that makes sense. So you know what you have and you know what you're about to lose, essentially. Because I feel like the problem with most relationships is that, you know, they break up without really knowing what they're about to lose. So if you do go on a break, you kind of have a taste of what you're about to lose. Yes, I hope that um, that video made sense. I hope you guys have learned from the video. I don't really know if there was anything to learn. Um, don't forget to check out my Facebook. Don't forget to follow me on social media to keep up to date with what I am doing. Oh, yes, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.